We need two additional pro-choice senators and a pro-choice House to codify Roe as federal law. Your vote can make that a reality. If you want to change the circumstance for women and even little girls in this country, please go out and vote. President Biden announcing new executive actions aimed at protecting abortion rights after two more state abortion bans went into effect this week. Democrats are counting on the issue to energize their voters for the midterms, but will it be enough to stave off big losses? Here's Nate Silver of 538. Traditionally, abortion is an issue that motivated Republican voters, but this year might be different. Let's start, of course, with the data. Six polling firms since the court's decision asked voters who they prefer for Congress. On average, those polls show the Democrats ahead by 1.5 percentage points. But here's the thing. If you look at what the same polls show just before the abortion ruling, they had Republicans up by 1.3 points on average. All six polls have shown some type of movement toward Democrats. It could be a statistical quirk, but it's certainly worth keeping an eye on. But let's back up a second. Why does the president's party, in this case Joe Biden and the Democrats, almost always lose ground in the midterms? One explanation from political science is that voters want to balance the scales. Usually, if a party controls both the presidency and the Congress, they'll implement changes that some voters think go too far. Like in 2010, when Obamacare was unpopular and contributed to a 63-seat Republican gain in the House. But this year, conservative judges have reversed laws or federal government policies on everything from abortion to requiring masks on airplanes. So the traditional roles are somewhat reversed. Where the Supreme Court won't help Democrats is with the economy. This week's Monmouth poll found that 33% of voters mentioned inflation as their most important concern, and 15% said gas prices, compared to just 5% who said abortion. But it may give Democrats an enthusiasm boost. A recent Marist College poll found that 78% of Democratic voters are more likely to vote in the midterms in response to the abortion decision. On the whole, the odds still favor Republicans, but I buy that Roe being overturned evens the equation a bit toward Democrats. Hey folks, I predict that you're gonna either subscribe to our YouTube channel or watch some related videos, or both. Um, you can do both, but you can't do neither, so either subscribe or watch more videos.